How fast can you figure out multi-digit multiplications? Well, for most of us, calculators help us do the job. But for one person, it's as easy as 2 times 2. Inside Story catches up with the world's so-called human computer to find out how she earned a place in the record books for doing mind-boggling calculations in a matter of seconds. Five, six, seven, Numbers are part of daily life and affecting every aspect of it. But for one person, numbers are her life and livelihood. Meet Shakuntala Devi. She's a mathematical genius, but even that can be an understatement. Why is three lucky? It's always lucky. <laughs> Devi travels the world and her talent in doing mind-boggling mathematical calculations in her head earned her a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very proud of it, yes. I did a demonstration at the Imperial College of Science and Technology in London. It was witnessed by nearly 2,000 people. And also the people from the Guinness Book witnessed it, you see. And uh, I did a multiplication, multiplication of a 13-digit number by another 13-digit number quickly in my head. That's how it happened. <laughs> how quickly was that? I think I was quicker than the computer, if I'm not mistaken. You know, three, four seconds quicker. She's also in the record books for figuring out the 23rd root of a 201-digit number in 50 seconds. Square roots I never do. Cube roots, they're Cube my roots. speciality. How about 43? 43, yeah. 7, 9, 5, 0, 7. Okay. Is that correct? That's right. And what day did November 20th fall on in the year 1851? 20th, Friday. That's right. What kind of challenges uh, do you have now as far as <laughs> numbers? Nobody challenges me. I challenge myself. <laughs> Devi is moving on to perhaps a tougher challenge. That's being a source of inspiration for others. Normally I perform in schools and colleges. So the students are so excited and happy, you know, and they get inspired by me. A lot of students who have been very poor in mathematics, they pick up very nicely, you see, after I give the shows. And these days, she's also doing astrological consultations. Devi says she has read numbers for royalty and VIPs. Oh, hello. hello. I'm Ronnie. Very glad to I meet you. to see you. Yeah, Very glad to regarding meet you. Regarding a reading. Sure. Yeah. Please sit down. Okay, thank you. What's your date of birth, by the way? My date of birth is 24th July 1961. Monday? You were born on yes. a Monday? Yes. Oh, that's very nice. Yes. The consultations are confidential and considered sacred. And numerology is something many are buying into, like businessman Ronnie Ng. In Hong Kong, things are getting very competitive, just like uh, sports athletes. If everyone compete on a high school level, it's not a problem. If you compete on an Olympic level, then you need whatever help you can get. Mm's work involves management training, in which numbers play an important role. If I cluster 30 or 40 people together, I will have uh, what we call the uh, general population, and that will give the culture of the company. It is just like the weather. If I'm in business, I'm doing something new. I need to know what the weather is all about, so I consult the weather forecast. And same as seeing uh, astrology, I consult the stars, so that give me a better assessment of the situation. And in Chinese culture, the number four is considered bad luck, while eight is supposed to bring good fortune. For Devi, though, it seems all numbers are lucky, especially when you add them up. What do you think of 1997? Oh, it's interesting. I think it's going to herald in a new era. Hong Kong is going to be very prosperous, very successful. Everyone is going to be happy in 1997. I see, I'm very optimistic about 1997. Now, 1997 mm. basically adds up to 26. Yes. Is that a good number? Oh, yes, 2 plus 6 is 8. It's a lucky number. <laughs>